Poppets and welcome back to the channel and if this is the first time you are seeing this face subscribe to Magical Stuff. Today I'm back, I'm back. I've had some weeks off. I've been to Cyprus on holiday. I look like a Greek goddess, I know. It's been wonderful but it's wonderful to be back and what way to kick off me coming back off holiday with no other than a video for the wizarding trunk. Now I'm going to be completely honest, I can't remember <laughs> what this box is but I'm sure we'll find out as soon as we open it up. I'm rubbish, I know. But the Wizarding Trunk are a subscription box company and they are amazing. They do Harry Potter inspired products within their boxes. They are amazing at what they do. And I will say for full disclosure, they do send me these boxes too as a gift just to review for you guys. But honestly, all opinions are my own. If I didn't like what they did, I wouldn't have agreed to do this for them if I didn't like what they did. But I think they're fantastic and I'm excited to see what is inside this box. Also, if you use the code PODPOPIT10, you get 10% off your very first box or 10% off at website on, no wait, no. I'm doing so well. 10% off their online shop if you <laughs> use that code at checkout. I need to go back on holiday. Um, if you like what you see in this box and you've not seen them before, there are other videos so you can see what other things they've done in the past and just see that each box is just as good. I think I've told you everything. So it's now time to open the box of magicalness. Oh, it was a tube that fell out. Okay, right, I'll just put the tube back in here. Oh, okay, so. If I remember rightly, I need my phone. I don't have my phone. I need it because they no longer do paper cheat sheets. The, the sheet that obviously has everything listed, what should be in the box so that you can check it off. Yes, you've got everything in the box. They no longer do paper versions of it. This box is jam-packed, can I just say? But um, they do, it's like a, I think it's a QR code and then you can go to your cheat sheet. So, you know. So let's get into it and then I'll get my phone at some point and look at the cheat sheet at the end. Let's do this. Right, so the first thing I'm pulling out is this potions. This is a mystery to me. It's a mystery of a mystery because I can't even remember what this box is about. I think it's to do with potions. <laughs> I think it's to do with potions. Because <laughs> I've got a potion thing in my hand and there's, uh, there's a potion perfection guide to flawless brewing. Right, let's open this. So what have we got? ASMR. Right, so I do think this is a magnet. Uh, what, why, what am I doing? It's not going to stick to me. So what have we got? So practical potion conversions, I will show you in a second. So it's got the cup, the ounce, the tablespoon, the teaspoon, and MC. Two cups equals one pint, four cups equals one quart, and four quart equals one gallon. That is really cool. I'm going to stick that on my fridge. I'm sure it's a magnet. It's a magnet, isn't it? It's really cool, this. I like it. It's just perfect for the kitchen. Perfect for the kitchen. I am going to stick that on my fridge. Okay, so we do have a paper magical creatures page and it's got both sides. So one side it's all about the leprechaun and the other side is the leviathan. Anyway, I do enjoy these because magical creatures is something that I love and I love reading about them and there are so many of these now. I have them in a folder, just nicely done and yeah, I can read about them. So I do really, really enjoy getting these. If I remember rightly, it's the last one. I could be wrong though. Don't take my word for it. Never take my word for it. Unless it's about the wizard trunk, they're really good. Right, well, I'm going to pull this out now. The Potion Perfection, A Guide to Flawless Brewing. Oh, there's two, two things in here. And then we've got potent, pe hang on, let me get it out of here. There's some more. Now I am loving this idea that they do. So they have, oh, oh, this is different to the other ones. I was just gonna say, I'm loving these fake book boxes that they do because you, there, there's a few of them now and I can have a library of them, but they're all like boxes. They're really, really cool. Was it a couple of them or one of them had puzzles in? Um, oh, I can't remember now off the top of my head. They're on the channel anyway, so you'll have to go have a nosy if you haven't seen. But these are stuck together. Let me show you inside in a minute. This is really cool. So we've got, yeah, po uh, Potion Perfection, A Guide to Flawless Brewing. Look at that foiling. And then 
We've got the back of another book here, which is Potent Perils. So dive into the dark bubbling cauldron of al alchemical blunders with Potent Perils. This compendi compendium unveils the most infamous re infamous recipes gone aw awry. Oh my days, what's wrong with me? Turning promising brews into catastrophic concoctions. Catastrophic, did I say that? <gasps> from explosive elixirs to toxic tonics each chapter is a cautionary tale for aspiring potion masters discover the delicate balance between brilliance and bedlam and learn how to avoid turning your workshop into a war zone a must read for those who dare to delve into the perilous art of potion making again look at the foiling on that and this is one thing i love about the wizarding trunk even down to the details the wording Every little detail on their items, I love. Everything is just presented chef's kiss. So let's open it up, look at this. Hang on. It's shelved. We've got like this shelved out, this is awesome. This, is, I love, it's just this like secret compartment thing in it. You could use it as a jewelry box. You could hide your jewelry in here. I really like this. I love it. It's, it's, it's like a, it's like a bookcase in it, like a dinky bookcase, and anything dinky is cute. But I do like how I do like how this is done. And again, I love this whole fake book box idea. And there is a few, and yeah, you can have your own little library of them. Really like that. We have a pin. We have a pin, and it's of a potion. This is definitely a box about potions. Okay, so this is the pin and it is a potion. I don't recognise the potion at the moment, but I do like that pin. I am a sucker for pins. I do collect them. I have loads of pins and I do like this one. A nice new one to the collection. So what, if, oh, here's the QR code. So let me just read this. Hello, wizards, witches, and magical friends. We wanted to take a moment and let you know that we are taking your feedback into consideration regarding our digital spoilers, and this will likely be the last box with a digital spoiler. Oh, however, to still try and reduce waste, we do plan to place the spoiler on the back of a work of art so that it can be an item that we hope you will keep and display within your collection. So they're not going to be doing the, why are people moaning about digital? I managed to get on it just fine. You just scan the QR code with your camera on your phone and the, it pops up. Why are people moaning? I mean, again, they've thought of another way round of it um, and obviously putting it on a piece of art so it's not waste. And if you do put it in the bin, then that's on you. But I don't understand. I thought the QR code was a brilliant idea, but oh well. Again, it's good that they listen to feedback though, isn't it? And they just like look at the majority. Which is good. Right, this is cute. Ah, oh. oh, my days. Okay, I'm gonna put this one down. We're gonna go to this one in very, very shortly. I'm just gonna go through the others. I'm getting rather excited because I need to explain that and it excites me so much. But we've got a nice, this is a really nice green bag and we have got what looks like a potion ingredient inside. Let's have a look. This is sneeze wart. Look at this label. I love their labels. I think the labels are designed by Wizardry Workshop, if I remember correctly. I'm sure it is. He's really good at what he does anyway. But yeah, we've got this lovely bottle of sneeze water. I have to look again. Look at that in there. I love and I love potion bottles, potion ingredients, everything. You should see my potion shelf. It's jam-packed. But there's always room for a little bottle but I do need another shelf made because I've got so many and I keep getting so many and I have to display them because I'm absolutely obsessed with them <clears throat> okay I'm gonna open this next is this no it's not I thought it was a book cover it's not a book cover but it has a lot of gold foiling to it which excites me what's this a map of potion making this is gorgeous hang on this is gorgeous even the back look it looks like old parchment look at that and you've got potions of the world on there by the looks of it that is so detailed i really really like that i'm going to put it down so if you want a further look you'll have to pause the video i do really like that 
I do have a collection of these map arts and I keep, I need to frame them. I've said in every video, I'm framing that one, I'm framing that one, including the art we get as well, I'm framing that. Haven't done it yet, they're in a pile already, but it's finding wall space as well because I don't know if you've seen my, well, I know I've, I've got the office on the channel. There's just posters everywhere. <laughs> absolutely everywhere so i'm gonna have to move some into the bedroom now i think we've got a book psds potion safety data sheet it says it on the side on the spine that it says school property do not remove from potion storeroom and then it's literally a book look i'm not going to go through it because it's going to take forever and this video will be very very long but look it's a book What's that? Salamander blood. Often associated with fire and regeneration in folklore, salamander blood is a powerful ingredient in potion making, particularly valued for its properties related to strength and virtue. Vi vitality. It is commonly used in potions that aim to bolster physical power and enhance recovery. Magical properties enhance strength, regeneration. Handling salamander blood may carry risks due to its potent nature and possible magical contamination. It's going on about potential allergens there. This is really cool. So it's, let me just go on another one. Tongue of dog. Why did I land on this one? Literally the tongue of a dog. This ingredient is used in dark magical practices for its powerful binding and silencing properties. It is often utilised in potions that aim to suppress speech, prevent secrets from being revealed, or bind spiritual entities. So magical properties, silencing and binding, and then obviously you've got your potential allergens as well, handling animal parts, especially those as sensitive as a tongue, can pose risks of contamination and disease. So this is really, really cool. This is a really cool item. I like this. This it's a, quite a book as well. Like the thought that's gone into this, it must have took ages. I like that. I do really like that. Right, we've got a box that's completely plain within the mystery box. So it's a mystery within a mystery. A mystery box inside a mystery box. Let's open the mystery box and see what's inside. Oh, what's that? Oh, that looks creepy. I actually don't want to talk to the bottle. I've never been like that. Pickled horned slug. Let me show you inside first. Look at that. Oh, that's really creepy, buckle. So specimen number 6716. Did we all get different numbers? If you got this box, let me know what your number was. So pickled horn slug. Again, look at the label it's just lovely it's magical it's magical that thing inside there's not magical it obviously is but i actually don't want to hold it what is wrong with me it's creeping me out but it's a really cool oh there's got a wax seal as well look at that that is so nice i'm gonna put it down there because it's creeping me out why is it creeping me out what is wrong with me right we've got another box here we've got some paper here <coughs> We've got another item that I put to the side, remember? And then we will get my phone wherever it is and scan the QR code and look on the um, cheat sheet. Before I open the box, I've just seen potion ingredient. It's on horned slugs. So we've got a piece on the horned slug here to do with the potion ingredient. So it's all that on the front and all that on the back. Again, this is just about a potion ingredient and the detail on this is just amazing absolutely love it what does it say here caution may cause invasive boils always be sure to properly stew slugs to avoid invasive boils covering the entire body you see that's why i'm scared to hold it isn't it because i'm scared it's going to leak onto my skin always thinking let's get these paper things out then and then we'll go on to the last two items here so what have we got oh, we've got an art we've got an art print look at that how lovely is that you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to frame it. I am. I need to get things framed. I've got a pile and I need to get them framed. That is so lovely. The Slytherin common room. Yes, I've just realised what common room it is because I can't see it like you can at the moment unless I like look at it and then I saw the crest above the fireplace. And then, are these stickers? They are. We've got some stickers. They're potion labels. Oh my days, we've got potion labels. We've got a whole ass sheet of potion labels. That is cool. So we can, what can we make? Dragon scales, Arcanite elixir, unicorn horn, tonics and elixirs, dragon, elixirs, 
elixirs dragon's heart string and then we've got one that says do not touch poisons and venom venice shell handle with extreme caution i ain't got my glasses on and it's fancy writing i'm really bad at fancy writing poisons and venice shelf that's how i'm reading it because i'm crap the hidden apothecary arcane herbs whole and ground ointments and remedies let me show you them again they are really really lovely they are gorgeous, gorgeous sticker labels, potion sticker labels. I like them. Basilisk Venom. I like it. For, oh, Forbidden Shelf. Access Restricted to Authorised Witches and Wizards. I like it. Right, let's get on to this box. In fact, no. Look at me, look. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to open this. So the Wizard and Trunk have been doing items that they've made for the Copper Kettle. The Copper Kettle is obviously like, that. It is they're doing a tea set. And I've loved every single item so far. This is so cute. Let me get it out of the bag. And I know it's from the Copper Kettle because the, the hog's head is on it. If I'm thinking correctly because I don't use these here. It's a tea strainer. I think it's a tea strainer, but there's the hog's head there. And then we've obviously got this teapot, little mini teapot. And it's even got a, oh my days, that is so cute. That is just adorable. Yes, yeah, so that comes out. And then obviously you'd put your tea in there. I'm sure it's a tea strainer. And then obviously you'd dunk it in your tea and strain it oh my god i love it that is so cute that's going straight on my shelf so all my copper kettle items are displayed in my office on one of the shelves that's going straight on that shelf so i'm gonna put that there ready no i'm not because i need to photograph things first <laughs> because if you do want a closer look at items i do take photos of them and put them on um instagram pop up at instagram and facebook so yeah definitely go give me a follow on those it makes me look popular so let's open this box and then i need to find my phone and scan that qr code so on the box here it's pure blood apothecary and we've got some nice potion ingredients by the sound by the looks of it sorry around the box it's a really cool box even down to the packaging the box itself that it all comes in the detail is amazing it's very well protected so what could this be oh my god oh i love this now i can never remember the name i can never remember the name and i'm not even going to try but it's obviously a cauldron and it says on the front if you can see pure blood apothecary on there which I absolutely love and then yeah I can't I've got it in it's on the tip of my tongue but I can't think what it's called but yeah that is gorgeous I'm gonna put that in there that is so cute I love that right bear with me two seconds I'm gonna go find my phone because I definitely didn't bring it in here with me because I'm so prepared I can't find the QR code now either there it is I've got it right phone come on Susie I'm back I've got my phone so let me show you, I know they're changing it up again anyway, but I'm just going on my camera. So I've got my camera up, it's currently on my sofa, got my QR code, I'm putting it on there and it just comes up with a link that you click on. It's going to the site, to the wizarding trunk and there it is, it's as simple as that. I don't understand why people didn't like it, I thought it was brilliant. Anyway. So yes, the potions storeroom, spoiler information. So this was all the potions storeroom. So number one was the cauldron mortar, mortar and pestle. I had pestle in my head, but not quite that word. So I'm glad I didn't try. So the cauldron mortar and pestle, pestle the pure blood apothecary offers an exclusive stoneware mortar and pestle for all of the students at school these are perfect for grinding up all your herbs spices and other ingredients such as griffin claws and puffer fish eyes number two the sneeze wart this ingredient is used to cause excessive sneezing and is a known ingredient in potions that are meant to confuse the drinker this bottle will make the perfect first addition to your miniature apothecary shelves 
Number three, the practical potion conversions. Your new wooden practical potion conversion chart will be the perfect tool for converting units of measure for all your potion making or baking needs. Number four, the hidden apothecary book box. I'm amazed by that. This stunning dual book box conceals a set of apothecary shelves between its covers, your own personal potion storeroom, if you will. Over the next few boxes, you will receive miniature items that will be perfect for stocking these apothecary shelves. You just keep on giving! So number five, the hidden apothecary stickers. You can use these decals to design the inside of your apothecary shelves to your liking. Yes, we have also included a few potion labels in case you would like to bottle a few items of your own to line these mini shelves. That is so cool. So then number six was the creature page. Obviously, um, the front and back, the leprechaun and the one that I couldn't um, pronounce. Number seven, the horned slugged, the horned slug specimen jar. The horn slug, once stewed, is an ingredient in potions and paste that help to remove pimples and boils. <laughs> I don't know why, I just couldn't hold it for long. <laughs> the horn slug ingredient page. This page tells you all about the horn slug ingredient. Keep this page along with all of the others safe. There will be an item included in an upcoming box where you will be able to store your collection. P.S. If you, it won't be a three ring binder. It's, a, it's sort of like a counter hint. <laughs> Um, all items in the box are Wizard in Trunk exclusive. Okay, so the editor's choice is, oh day, I can't say that name. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to show everybody and you can go give them a follow on Instagram. But there's the editor's choice. Well done. Okay, so, okay, number nine, the Truth Serum bottle pit. Oh, Truth Serum. It was Truth Serum. Of course it was. Just ignore me. Please refrain from taking things from the potion storeroom without permission or this pin might just slip over your morning pumpkin juice. <laughs> Number 10, the copper kettle tea steeper. If you're in need of just a cup of tea instead of an entire kettle, this tea steeper will work perfectly. The perfect size for the exclusive teacup and saucer sets they use at the copper kettle. Not that that's a spoiler or anything, just forget we mentioned it. Okay, so the wizard in trunk messaged me and said, do you mind seeing a spoiler? And I was like, no, I don't mind seeing a spoiler. And yes, it excites me. And that's all I'm going to say. Number 11, Dungeons Common Room Print. The second in our series of common room prints features a common room located in the dungeons with a view into the lake. If you take a closer look, you'll even see a giant, swim a giant creature swimming by. And then number 12, Potion Safety Data Sheet Book. This 280 page fully readable book is to be kept inside the potion storeroom at all times and consulted whenever you have questions about a potion or ingredient. Their common uses and what hazards they pose. You can even find both ingredients from this box within its pages if you would like to find out more about them. I love that book so much, I really, really do. So that's that guys, that is the Wizard in Trunk, the Potion Storeroom, what did we think? Did you get this box? Let me know in the comments, what did you think? I give up with trying to find a favourite item, although the Tea Streeper is calling me for this one. Oh, I don't know because I like, this book has amazed me, this has amazed me, the potions map, the art for everything has amazed me. Um, no, we're not going to do this because I end up getting, I end up with a headache. But my point is, oh, and the 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 mortar and pestle, absolutely love that as well. But I love the Wizard and Trunk, and they've done an awesome job once again. Let me know your thoughts. Let the Wizard and Trunk know your thoughts in the comments below, so that we can have a read. But from me, the Wizard and Trunk, once again, you've nailed it, and you've managed to fill a box to the brim with magic. But I am going to go, guys. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye, Potter Poppets.